Well, thank you goes out to Prince Collections again, the best in suits, shirts and tights, also our Sanka locals. That's why I'm looking good. Let's do our uncover people. His name is Jay Gatte, sings R&B like who, Neo, like all the big guys in America. And the great news is he is half Ghanaian. He is Ghanaian and he's, he's starting a career doing something in Ghana. He's going to go back to where he's from in America anyway. But we thought we should bring this guy to you with the guitarist, play live for you, sings for you. So uncover, unplug, Jay Gatte. Now let's enjoy it. This is Jay Garte, and this is my uncover on Alo Tigo. I have a fusion of music. I, um, I have a mixture of R&B, pop. I have elements of my Ghanaian background with high life, reggae. But the, the music we're doing right now, we have a new term for it. It's called pop life. Rocky on the guitar, this is Jay Garcia, Shining Gold. You walked into the room, I hadn't felt that for so long. You're looking at me and I'm looking at you, you're the one in all my song. I was born in America, I moved to Ghana when I was nine years old. When I came here, um, there was all types of mu music going on, but rap wasn't a big thing. So uh, me and my friends, uh, Abeku, Kweku T, we started a rap group back in 1989, 1990. Um, LL Cool J was a big influence on me. I really liked LL Cool J. I loved his energy. I loved his charisma. I loved his flow. Public Enemy, Tribe Called Quest, Rakim, some of the masters, you know. Um, so we, we formed a group. Uh, the group was called Chief G and the Tribe. Uh, not to take too much credit, but we were one of the first rappers, rap groups in Ghana. At the time, I only remember KKD was rapping. Cause if you ever seen that girl shining, shining gold, everybody will know what I was talking about. And if you ever seen that girl shining, shining gold, Everybody will know what I was talking about. He said, I'm talking about life. I'm talking about love. I'm talking about all the things that you never dreamed of. The album is called Shining Gold. The first song, uh, single is called Mido, which as you know means I love you in tree. Um, it's on the internet radio in America. Some of the Americans don't know what I'm saying, but they love the song. And I don't want to rule your world. I don't want to rule your world I want to see if we can keep it together Cause I will never waste your time And I will never change your mind If there's something we couldn't feel forever So life goes on and time goes by And you're still not by my side it's inspired by because so many times that, you know, I meet so many Ghanaians abroad, whether it's in London, New York, Germany, Sweden, and there's a lot of people working hard to either send money back home to the family or to their loved ones. So the song, that, that struggle inspired me to write the song because when you leave home, it's many, most times it's many years before you come back. So the song's called Mido, it's, it's about going to America Remembering your love, asking your love, you know, wait for me. You're thinking of me and I'm thinking of you. We're trying to find a way to make things right. Cause if you ever seen that girl shining, shining gold, everybody will know what I was talking about. And if you ever seen that girl, Shining, shining gold. Everybody will know what I was talking about. I'd say I definitely made this song with my Ghanaian audience in mind because you want to connect with your people. You want people to you know, feel it. At the same time, to be honest with you, I, I, was, I was in Ghana. I went back to New York. For one month, this song was in my head. 
So it's for me also. As an artist, you, 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 you create for people, but you have to create for yourself. Exactly. We're bringing this album out here now. That's our main focus for the moment. Some of the songs will be on the American album. And, uh, so, you know, but we're, gonna, we're trying to really push hard to break through with the Ghanaian influence in New York. Mendoza was the first single. Ochiama Kwame is, is featured on that. And by the way, he, he, uh, he inspires me because, you know, we connected with him, we played him the song, and his verse was exactly what we needed, what, we, what the song was about. And, you know, I'm in New York, and I play that verse, it's in full tree. People are going crazy, and they don't even understand tree. They hear his flow. He has a flow. And, and you know, he, his personality, he's so warm, you know, and, and, and res respectable guy, you know. Uh, so big shout out to Ochami Kwame for doing that. Uh, the second single is My Lady. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a West African beat, um, and it's just about meeting that lady who in that moment drives you crazy. And it's, it's, very, it's a dance song. It's, you know, it's, for the, it's for, the, for the clubs, for the weddings, for the, for the parties. Uh, that's, that's another video that we're shooting also uh, this week. We're shooting both of those. Uh, we have another song called Shining Gold. There's other songs on it, um, I Don't Give Her, which, has, which is more of a, a rap flow. We have also Black Star, which I wrote before the Black Stars qualified for the World Cup. You know, ever since I, when I was a young boy, you know, I'm, I've always supported the Black Stars. Before I moved back to America, it was early 90s. I remember one of the worst days of my life was when we lost to Cote d'Ivoire in penalties in the African Cup. I still haven't recovered. But I'm still a black star, you know? So that, that's one of my uh, favorite songs. It's a club anthem, high energy. It's about the black stars. It's not only about soccer, it's about life, you know, overcoming struggle. But you're still a black star. And it's a universal song. Said I'm talking about life. I'm talking about love. I'm talking about all the things that you never dreamed of. And I don't want to rule your world. I really want Ghanaian music to break through in the world. So hopefully that, that would have happened. People would show in a worldwide show more respect or understand what, how many, there's so many musicians in Ghana. I mean, so many singers, rappers, guitarists. We have the talent and I want that talent to be, to be seen. Uh, on the other hand, um, music, apart from you know, being nationalistic, that I, the nationalistic feelings I have, Music is a healing force. So I, I mean, I think, I, I always see the, half, the, the cup half full. I think things in this world are better than they were before, but I think music calms the nerves, heals the people, keeps the spirits up. So I hope, I'm hoping my music does that, you know, in a humble, in a humble way. Cause I will never waste your time. And I will never change your mind. If there's something we couldn't feel forever. I would love a duet with Sade. I would like to. I would like to flow. I would like to balance it. I let her do the singing. I do the flow singing with a nice beat. That would, that would be. That would be fun. So I'm just happy to be home. Just want to give a say hello to my father. You know, like uh, my my brother Joe, Joe Garte, my cousins Moses and Autry. Um, just very happy to be home. Excited. I'd like to thank John Germain, the man around town. Heard a lot of good things. Um, and you know, just just uh, want to tell the people you know who are musicians and not musicians, keep your keep your confidence, maintain. You know, people, Ghanaians are around the world. I mean, it's everywhere I go now, Ghanaians are around the world. And, and uh, everywhere I go, people talk well about Ghanaians. And so I want us to maintain that. Don't get caught up in the hype. Keep the fundamentals. Keep the culture. And, you know, and let's do this music and let's keep going. Mm -hmm.